hi welcome or welcome back to my channel now this video is in no way shape or form to make anyone feel some type of way this is just my opinion if you love this stuff keep it this is just me the things that i feel like by now they should be off the face of the earth and nobody should be using them and i don't use them and i hope i just for one reason or another i don't have to use them ever so let's get started number one tablecloths why 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 in the extra work would you want a tablecloth to me a tablecloth one conceals the beauty of the actual table and two is a lot of work like you have to wash it you have to iron it you have to make sure it doesn't get dirty it's just it's giving extra work and i'm not about extra work when it comes to cleaning and i don't like tablecloths nine out of ten times they don't look good two water dispensers and we've talked about this before and i know um there are people who need to use water dispensers but if i can help it i would not have a water dispenser in my in my house if i could help it for me it consumes extra space and it's still crazy to me that we have to pay for drinking water like that but you know it's life for me water dispensers are just i don't like them i i probably my reasons are not valid they're not solid but i don't like water dispensers at all you can heat your water some other way you can chill your water in the fridge you know air fresheners that's air fresheners i am not i am a hundred percent against them i opt for air fresheners where you can just pop the you like you can open the lid and then the air just gets freshened <laughs> but i'll insert a photo here of exactly what i mean but i'm not about air fresheners at all a lot of times to me they have a very intense scent that just makes me feel like i'm choking and maybe it's in my head it, it's possibly in my head but i i know mm -mm. calendars calendars physical calendars printed with a company's name should not be in your house On, honestly if there's one thing that makes your house look super 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 cluttered even an office if you ask me is having multiple calendars and i would remove them off the walls because one why do you want something branded in your house are you advertising in your house but yeah you know i just i i i i don't have a physical calendar those are the things that i say no to if they're given to me for free i say no to calendars i say no to business cards i say no to flyers we're coming to business cards in a few i say no to flyers and i say no to extra gift bags if i can if i have something else to carry the thing in business cards let's talk about business cards now 10 out of 10 times if i take your business card i will throw it away and it's not out of disrespect it's not out of hate it's not out of malice it's just that for me that's an extra thing that has to go in my wallet now imagine if i kept every single business card i've received in my life in my life you know like why i would rather save your number in my phone if I really value like that contact, I'll save your number in my phone and then we'll go from there and I'll figure out a way to remember that it's you that gave me that contact. But keeping business cards to me is, I will never understand it. I know a lot of people keep business cards, find them important, but for me, it's absolutely no. Let's go into the clothing section, biker shorts. Now, now, biker shorts are really fashionable in this time and age, but to me, they're giving underwear. You know, there's a time in our childhood where petticoats were replaced with bikers. And so I can't unprocess bikers as underwear. So I don't see how you wear biker shorts in a blazer, biker shorts in public, biker shorts when you're not biking, biker shorts when you're not swimming. Bike, like it's just... And nowadays, people don't even wear them when they're swimming. You know what I mean? But to me, biker shorts are just... I My brain cannot fathom why you need biker shorts. Low-rise jeans. Now, low-rise jeans work perfectly for some body types. 
I don't think they do for mine. They just make me look like I have my body is not balanced out. And so I know that I will not be taking up low rise jeans. And by low rise jeans, I mean the jeans that like cut off at your lower waist. Those jeans that come over here, like we're doing here and above, here and above. But those jeans that come here, absolutely no. No, we're not. No. Mm -mm. Doll shoes, ballet flats, whatever people call them. Those are things that I wore for a long period of time. Um, and that's because if you had to go to work, they were like the go-to shoes. There was no alternative and you couldn't wear sneakers to work. But now I have discovered that you can wear loafers, you can wear mules, you can wear, I would rather even wear a sandal to work honestly than doll shoes. I get sneaky a bit and sometimes I even wear sneakers or sneakers that don't have laces. But these shoes that are not, they're kind of like sport shoes but they don't have laces like you just slip them on i forget what they're called but yeah those shoes are the shoes that i would offer for any day instead of doll shoes doll shoes more often than not make people look shorter than they are i i can't i can't explain it it's not a flattering shoe unless it's a pointed doll shoe or a pointed ballet flat but then if it's pointed does that make it a doll shoe anymore I don't know. Bold, colored, hair, nails, clothes. For me, I don't know. Like, I've I've tried. I've tried. Believe me when I say that I've tried. There was a time in campus where I had a bold nail phase. But now I only do this type of colors, like nudes and pastels. Those are the colors that are a bit more muted and that I can withstand. Um, but bold, colored nails, anytime I do them, I just feel like there's something wrong in my life. And... I've learned to be okay with the fact that I'm not comfortable with bold colors. Some people get really offended when I say this um, because they love bold colors. And that's why I said at the beginning of this video, it is in no way, shape or form to attack you. It's just what me, I, I, I could live without bold colored nails or clothes or hair because to me, it's just, it's giving, I'm here, see me and not in a good way and often than not more often than not whenever i wear bold colors i just i don't feel comfortable and i don't feel like i look good however there are a few colors here and there that are on the bolder spectrum like mustard like what other color sometimes like a really nice deep red not even maroon like a nice deep scarlet red that i i can compromise for those are colors that sometimes i'm like teeny weeny bags that you can't carry anything in like they're bags that are meant to just hold your keys and maybe your lip balm why what is the function of that why do you have a bag to me having a funny pack is way better or just a bag that can fit in your phone some tissue some wipes and a few more stuff and like a sling type bag but those really tiny like this size bag why or this size bag why what is it for branded t-shirts now um this one has a bit of a caveat because there are some brands that have really nice minimal logos that my eyes can withstand but for the most part these brands um that have like if someone needs or requires me to wear something that's branded often than not i just even if i don't say it i'm just like please god let this plan fail because i don't like wearing branded stuff nine out of ten times it just it's giving campaign vibes no i don't want to be a walking billboard i just want to wear plain clothes i know mm -mm. and some people use them for sleeping that's great good on you but even for sleeping i'm just like no immediately no yeah so those are some of the things that i think that i just immediately know and that i would rather not have in my life let me know if there's something else that for you is just an absolute no down in the comments please remember to like share and subscribe see you in the next one Bye bye <music>